welcome back. It has been a one hot minute since I have got on here and recorded anything at all for you guys. So it is now the end of November and we are prepping for Christmas. Today, Xavier and I, he is just ready for the day. Doing some tummy time there. Actually doing it and not whinging, which is fantastic. Um, he's liked it, but he hasn't liked it. But anyway, we have a little bit of a flat head, so we are trying to push for more tummy time. But yes, we are off to finish off our Christmas decoration haul. So to, this year is the first year we've kind of gone all out. Last year we just bought a Christmas tree and like a mixed box of like plastic Christmas decorations that didn't really have a theme or anything like that. So we are hosting Christmas and I have decided to change up my theme and this will be my theme I'm keeping but I'll just add to it every year now. I am just going to do a quite a neutral sort of, I don't really know to be honest but it's gone a little bit boho, a little bit coastal, a little bit Australiana, um, neutrals, whites, golds. So I'll insert a picture here. So that's kind of my inspiration. Obviously here in Australia, we don't go like too crazy with our Christmas, you know, like um, it's hot and we, you know, we spend a lot of time outdoors. It's more of like a party season for us here. So we don't have like that real cozy Christmas feel. So this Christmas, I'm going to film a few different videos and just show everybody about what Christmas here is for us and I mean like for us I mean us because everybody celebrates their Christmas very differently here in Australia but I just want to show you what our Christmas generally looks like here down under. Oh you are very noisy this morning aren't you? Dave and I are ready to go. It's been a whole two hours, that morning routine. It's a lot, but I always try and do it before we leave the house just to make sure he's like fed, he's changed, he's had his nap, like I'm all prepared and ready to go. I don't know if you can see him in his little mirror there. Slightly, he's just a little wriggling away. So he just woke up for his nap, so he's nice and happy. But I'm just actually going to move the camera down so we can get driving. We are on the road now. It's probably the worst angle of me, but I don't want to drive with the camera up in front of my face. But we are first up today, we're off to the Brisbane Flower Market. So the last time I was there, they had a ton of dried flowers, like a little store there. Now, I know like the dried flower trend and craze has like fully taken off. So I don't know exactly what we'll find, but I really want to include some dry flowers in our Christmas tree and in our display. So we'll have a little look at what we can get there. I'm here looking at all the dried flowers. So you can see like there's a massive range, all different colors, all different types. I'm actually not too sure what I want. Like I want something that's kind of hardy because it's going into the Christmas tree. So I don't want it to like fall apart. There is literally so much here. I don't even know what to choose from, but there's a tree that I am getting inspiration from that they've done up, which is awesome. I've finished at the flower market and I'm now just at my local homemaker center. So I'm going to check out Pillow Talk and I've just noticed there's a team at K Max. So I'll show you through all of their Christmas stuff. Look at these wreaths, they're just so beautiful and full and it's all in like that native Australian leaves and they have these like really cool pine hanging decorations. The cutest little baubles, all these beautiful glass ones. I love these with like the scenes inside them. Oh, and they have these. I've been eyeing these off online. They are gorgeous. So they also have all the traditional red and greens. Like look at these berry reefs. They're just so delightful. And the Santas, how cute are they? I'm also going to look at my tableware for the day and how cute are these like crystal palm leaf tumblers. I think they're definitely on the wish list. So I'm in TK Maxx now and they have the most beautiful range of Christmas baubles. Like look at these polka dot ones. Don't mind this little dude, he's just 
getting really loud in there. I have a ton of ornaments that you could use for your Christmas table decorations and I don't think like any of them are really expensive. Like look at that, that's $14.95. They also have a large range of inexpensive gift wrapping. We have been out and about all day. Zave and I came home after TK Maxx and Zave needed a nap so I put him down. I've had some lunch and I actually was contemplating all morning whether to go to Target and pick up my click and collect because it was in the Brisbane CBD. Luckily my husband came home and he drove me in there, so kindly drove me in there so I could just run out, pick up what I needed and then jump back up in the car without having the mission of pulling the pram out again. So I'm so thankful for that. Um, my click and collect order wasn't quite complete, but still missing one more thing and I actually have no idea what it is, so that'll be a little bit of a surprise when it arrives. But I am going to get into our haul. So I have been collecting these items for the last sort of six to eight weeks here and there. Most of them are from Target, Kmart, Bed Bath and Table and Pillow Talk. I will link anything I got down below if you like it. Hopefully it's still available. It's one thing I find with Christmas stuff. If you don't get in early, it's really kind of hard to get. But that's the joy of like online shopping and couldn't collect. You know, quite often they can find them in other stores that may not be local to you. So let's get into it. I'm gonna start with our Target stuff today. So my first item is this set of three rattan stars. So you have a small, medium and large. I think they'll be good on some shelving, on tables, anywhere that you can put these. They're quite large, but I think they're just a really nice addition to getting that really neutral, coastal kind of luxury feel for Christmas. The next item is this wooden standing Christmas tree. So I think I'm gonna pop this on my table with another Christmas tree I have. It's quite light and it's not very tall. So you could put this in part of like a table centerpiece as well, which is fantastic. It is a rattan tree skirt. So this is actually only half, like it's not put together yet. But this one just goes around the bottom of your tree. There are so many of these around, like they're really on trend this year, but this one was only $20, which was an absolute bargain. Um, it is faux rattan, it's not real rattan. You can get real rattan ones. I actually saw some of like upwards of like $300. So I think I did really well finding this one, but you know, there are places like Pillow Talk that have ones only that I think were like $60 as well. So, you know, you get low, medium and high priced ones of these. Uh, I think the biggest thing is just to make sure they fit around the base of your Christmas tree. Our Christmas tree isn't huge, so this one will work just fine. The next item I got are these super cute coffee mugs. So they have little Christmas motives. I'm just gonna focus this in on this. If it focuses, there we go. So you can see there it's got like a little cute bird Christmas motive around the top. They're such a good size. I am actually gonna make my mum's hot chocolate recipe. It is delicious. And I wanted some nice cute mugs for that to go into. So I found them and thought they would be perfect. And I also have a serving tray. So before when I was at Pillow Talk, I found a tray I really liked put it on layby. Didn't realize this was in my click and collect. And this one was about a quarter of the price. So I will actually return the other one that I have on my layby. Lastly from Target is this little throw. So I'm going to pop this over our ottoman and then pop that little tray on top of it. It's not Christmas theme. It's quite light. So it's a nice little summer throw. However, I will pack it away with all my Christmas stuff because I have some cute Christmas cushions that works really, will work really well. So next year I don't want to be out finding another throw because I need a new one. And this one works really perfect with what I have. So that was it for Target. I'm gonna go on to what I got from Kmart. So I actually got some really good uh, hanging tree decorations from Kmart. So I have these little rattan white stars. And then I also got these timber stars. So they're little beaded timber stars there, which was so cute. I'm going to do some other beaded timber stuff as well. Some DIY stuff that I'm gonna do a video and show you how that you can really personalize your Christmas tree with a touch of things that you've made really quite easily and really inexpensive as well. And then I also got these ceramic tree decorations. So when I say Australiana, I literally mean like native Australiana stuff in my theme. So I have like a little kookaburra 
let that focus in. I have a koala and I have a little Merry Christmas with some gum tree leaves on there as well, which is so cute. When I saw them, I had to get them. My husband loves everything Australian. And actually, I have so much stuff. Hang on, bear with me. I also got some packs of these as well. So they're little timber, echidna, koala, and kangaroo there, which is super cute. And like I said, I just, I had to get them. I mean, I originally wasn't going for that Australiana look, but I was like, I will make it work. The other thing I got from Kmart are these cushions. So they have some gold stars on them, very Christmassy, I must say. And then that's the reverse side. So you can use them on either side. And I got a few of those cushions for our lounge. And I also found this. How cool is that? It's a little Christmas advent calendar. You can hang it up or you can sit it on a shelf. So I'm gonna sit it on a shelf. The only thing is, is the space for the items is quite small. So I've been racking my brain with what I can put in there, but I've made a little list of things that I have to go and collect before next week because it's almost December. That's everything I grabbed from Kmart this year. And the other place I visited was Bed Bath & Table. So if you are after beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Christmas decorations, Bed Bath & Table is definitely a place you should visit. So I got a range of glass ball balls in a whole range of patterns. So they're all um, glass and gold. Like for example, this one here is glass with the gold polka dots. And they're just so delicate and fine and beautiful. And I think they're just, We'll add like a real touch of elegance to anyone's Christmas tree. They aren't too expensive, but they aren't the cheapest. I think they were about $6.95 per bauble. And they do have sales. Like I think I got these for 20% off just for joining up to their club. So you can look out for that leading up to Christmas. And then obviously at Christmas time, Boxing Day sales, they generally go like 50 to 60% off with all their Christmas decorations. So you could stock up for next year as well, but absolutely beautiful. Like I just fell in love with their whole range. I obviously had already brought a lot, but I just wanted to get a few of their baubles to add to our Christmas tree. Now this morning when I went to the flower market, I was there to pick up some dry flowers for the tree. So I got three types. I don't really know what they're called, but that's the first, that's the second, and then I got some fans. So they're just gonna add some texture and a little bit of slice to my tree. There are baubles that you can get with dried flowers. So I'm at Hello Talk, I'm gonna wait. Hopefully they still have some when the sales happen because I'm going to stock up on some of them then because I think they'll work really perfectly in with our Christmas tree next year. And I might be able to take away some of the plastic balls that I have. So I've also got some Christmas decorations that I had left over from last year that I kept. My mum actually has given me a big box of Christmas decorations to utilize with my tree as well. Uh, so I will go through them when I'm setting up the tree. I can't link any of those because they're older decorations, but I did find that she had a few that would work really well with what I was doing. And last but not least, definitely not least, probably my favorite thing I got are these native garlands from Pillow Talk. So I got two of these and they're all Australian natives. They also do the matching wreath, which I'm going to probably go back up up and get. I wasn't sure if I was going to utilize it, but I think I think I will. I got two of the garlands because I want to use some on the table and then I want to use some on some shelving that I have. And it's just so great. Like it's definitely not the cheapest one I saw. It's not the most expensive and it's nice and full. Like you can definitely tell those lower price garlands and wreaths, they're just a bit bare. Whereas these have a lot of uh, leaves and a lot of greenery and they just look really, really good quality. So guys, that is everything that I got this year in our Christmas haul. I hope you've enjoyed everything. Like I said, I will link everything that I got down below. If you love it, hopefully you can still get it. I will be doing two Christmas videos a week leading up to Christmas. So starting with this one and then I'll be posting our Christmas 
Christmas decorations and I have lots of DIY decorations, just things to do that involve Christmas around Brisbane, some really good cooking recipes and things like that. So if you want to keep up with everything Christmas on my channel, don't forget to hit subscribe and the bell button to keep up with all my latest videos and notifications. And if you love this video and you want to support my channel, please give it a big thumbs up. I appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you guys next time.